Officers are looking for a hit and run driver who killed a pedestrian. This is Sky 4 video from over the crime scene just hours after the man's body was found. And now the search is on for a particular make and model car that may have damage to its right side. The crash happening sometime overnight on Southside Boulevard near Perimeter Park. And News for Jacks reporter Eric Avenier has been there all day with a closer look at where this happened. Eric? Yes, right now I'm off to the side of the southbound side of the uh, 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 south side boulevard, uh, which is right here, walking the very same path where authorities say a man was walking where he was fatally struck by a driver who, for some reason, veered off to the side of this road onto this grassy path. Shortly before 8.30 a.m., employees of this Keller Williams Realtor office off Southside Boulevard started showing up for work, not knowing that the body of a hit-and-run victim was just feet from their building in a grassy area next to the roadway. I arrived and nobody was nobody was there. Um, and then about 8.30, our office started noticing police cars. Those police cars arrived after employees say it appeared a motorist driving by saw the body in the grass and called 911. Florida Highway Patrol is investigating the incident as a fatal hit-and-run crash that likely happened overnight, but the body of the 33-year-old man wasn't discovered until after daybreak. FHP collected evidence at the scene to suggest the driver who hit the pedestrian was riding in a 2001 to 2005 Honda Civic similar to the one in this picture, but with front-end damage to the headlight area and also a missing right-side mirror. The vehicle's color is still unknown. According to investigators, it appears the victim was walking along the side of the roadway when he was hit by the car, suggesting the car left the roadway when it struck the victim and kept going. The Keller Williams employee I spoke with says there is nothing unusual about people walking along this strip of Southside Boulevard. We see people walk um, along Southside Boulevard all the time. Unfortunately, this is now the 14th fatal hit and run crash in Jacksonville this year. And so far, no arrests have been made in any of them. Of course, if anyone saw what happened last night or have information, not only in this case or any of, this, any of those other cases, those other hit and run cases that have yet to be solved, you are strongly urged to contact the Crime Stoppers number that is on your screen. We have also posted that number on our website, newsforjax.com. Reporting live from the South Side, Eric Avenier, Channel 4, The Local Station.